Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're waiting for this car to go by. Today we're doing a no makeup makeup look. It's not gonna look like you rolled out of bed. I actually curled my hair today. I have these short bangs, so I feel like I have to style my hair a little bit. I'm giving you the order of my makeup routine to where if you're in a rush and you have to get out the door, no matter what, you're gonna look good. If you have a little bit of unevenness, acne, scarring, small little thin tadpole brows, then you're gonna wanna follow these steps. It's gonna be super helpful. You're gonna look and feel your best walking out the door. So if you wanna see how I got this no makeup makeup Look, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so the first thing I do is I curl my lashes. I curl them just to prep them for mascara, especially on a no makeup day. I want to make sure they're nice and curly. And I feel like doing this before I do anything helps them look a little bit more curled when I have on. I'm ready for mascara. And then I curl again. But this really does just help keep the curl there. I need to do my brows. I really need some tweezers, but we're just gonna pretend like I don't. I'm gonna go by order of importance here. So that means when I get out the door, I look like a human being, not like I rolled out of bed too much. For me, that first thing is gonna be my eyebrows. For you, it might be something different. So start off with that thing first, but I'm gonna do my brows first because as you can tell, I don't really have much going on there and I just wanna structure my face first. So the first thing that I use is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. This is in 3.5. It's gonna look a little warm on my skin, but it's a nice backdrop to the cooler Asher Brown pencil I'm gonna use on top of it. So I'm gonna just take this and the pencil's a little thicker, so it just covers more space. So the first thing I do is mark where I want my brows to start because I do have an asymmetrical face. Some of the trolls on here like to let me know that my nose is crooked and I, I know that. But what I like to do is I like to line up where I want my brows to start first. And I'll start my brow right there and right there. And then from there, I'll fill in everything with the larger part of the pencil. So I'll just go through and very softly just fill everything in. I do my brows a little different depending on my mood, depending on how my pencil and my hand want to flow that day. Sometimes I'll do a thinner brow or a thicker brow. My brows are naturally a, little, a lot more thinner. So sometimes I'll just follow that, especially if I'm doing like a no makeup because I'm gonna have these huge brows with very bare minimum makeup. So I don't like to go too big on those days. And I, I like this pencil because you could turn it on all angles and use it and it has like a purpose. It cuts down your brow time a little bit and then I'll just line up my pencil to make sure everything's flowing right. Make sure I don't go too long. Sometimes I go a little too far, but just want to keep it really nice and natural. And I'm doing more of a dramatic look. I'll elongate my brows and my eyes, but today it's all about embracing the natural curves and features of your face. And then I'm gonna go in with my Precise My Brow Pencil from Benefit in shade four. And I'll just do these little hair lines, very separated. So it actually gives the illusion of hair. And this is like a quick, super quick way to make your eyebrows look a little fuller. And then I'll go in with my Urban Decay Brow Blade in the ink stain, and I'll just go through and mark these little hairs through there so it looks a little bit more fluffy. Sometimes the ink doesn't come down right, but some days it does, and when it does, it's a good brow day. It's not gonna end up that pigmented. It kind of dries out a little bit. So it looks a lot more natural. We're almost done with our brows, I promise. Then I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Balm Brows Full and Fluffy. I talked about this in my last video. It's really good. It has these little fibers in it. Makes your hair look thicker, fuller, and holds them in place. And this is great if you don't have very much hair like me. But if you do have like a full brow already, then you don't need to really worry about doing all these steps. You can just kind of fill in with a pencil or brush your brows up with like a tinted brow gel and you're good. But that is my brow and then I'm gonna go in to my face. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and prep it. And if we're going for a no makeup makeup look, I like the face to look glowy or some type of natural dew, like dewy shine on the face so it looks really healthy and just beaming on its own without anything or glitter or shimmer on it. The first thing that I like to do on a no makeup day is prep my skin with skin gloss. This is the glossed peach color from Dominique. It is such a beautiful, beautiful, natural glowing within type of product. So I'm taking this peachy color 
and I'm gonna apply it all over my face. You can apply it to the high points of your cheeks, but I want that glow right here. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna apply it. So this is Gloss Peach and it looks like this. Very glowy, very pretty. It doesn't give you a dewy or oily finish. So if you want the glow, but you don't want the grease, this is great. But remember that I'm putting this underneath my makeup. So it's gonna look a little crazy, but my skin is dry and dull. So I want it to look glowy and hydrated. I'm putting this all over my face. And there's a few different shades. Like there's a darker shade that's copper light if you wanna go more bronzy. This is gloss peach. It looks great on all light to medium or medium skin tones. And there is a lighter shade if you have more of a fair skin tone or just want more of a brighter glow. I'll link it below just so you guys can check it out. But try this technique. You guys are going to love it. Try it underneath your makeup. I swear you're not gonna need any any other glowy product on top. I know it's gonna look a little crazy right now, but it, I, it gives you a really beautiful natural glow. This is my glowy skin hack. I'll even put it under my eyes, especially around the dark areas. I haven't put it over my lids everywhere. So once you look like a tin foil, stay there, don't go. <laughs> don't be scared. I promise it's gonna look so good and natural. That has hyaluronic acid as well, so it's gonna really retain moisture. Now I'm gonna put this over, this is the Blur and Moisture Serum Primer, and I use it a lot, obviously. So I'm gonna put that over the top. It's gonna give me hydration. It's also gonna blur some of my large pores. So I'm gonna take that. It's very thin, and I'm gonna go over the skin gloss. And your skin is gonna feel so baby soft and it's gonna look so glowy. Okay, and now when that's still wet, I'll go in with my foundation. I would say if you don't have a lot of blemishes or uneven skin tone, then I mean, just go in with concealer if you're doing something that's no makeup y. But I really wanted to show you how amazing this foundation is. I just got it in and it looks like skin. And I just want a really nice, even tone all over instead of putting concealer everywhere. But the new Makeup Forever HD Skin, oh, look how pretty, how aesthetically pleasing is this bottle, by the way. This is shade 1N14, and you wanna shake it before you use it. It tells you on the back, so I'm gonna shake it up. Oh my God, I almost literally broke the glass. We're gonna have to pause for that. Sorry about my aggressive shaking. We are done with that. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation, and you're gonna see how amazing this foundation is. Here we go. It looks so natural but it's giving me the coverage that I need and I can totally build it up more, but I don't want to. I kind of just want to leave it where it's at and you still get that like really beautiful peachy glow underneath the skin from the skin gloss. This is a beautiful combination. I hope you guys try that. Okay, I'm going to put on some Aquaphor just to kind of prep my lips. I'm going to show you guys like my no makeup makeup lip that I've been loving and it's it's makeup so it's not like like you're not wearing makeup at all it's a no makeup makeup it's a very like natural lip that I'll show you guys in a little bit I'm going to contour my nose with the Rare Beauty Happy Soul bronzing stick and I'm just going to do a little bit right in here like so just kind of target it where I want more of a bronzy glow and like a little bit more structure. Then I'm just going to pat on top of it. I'm not gonna move it around too much. I just wanna pat it in this area so it doesn't move around a lot. It's still gonna look pretty heavy once we blend it in. So I'm gonna go back over with a beauty sponge so it looks super natural. And you just keep blending it in until it looks really natural and just gives you a slight definition and a little color. So after I blend it in, then I'm gonna go back over with a damp beauty sponge and press it into that area so that it kind of picks up some of the color so it's not too heavy. And again, I wouldn't move it around too much so it stays in that spot. I'm gonna do concealer because I definitely need to cover this darkness under my eyes. I do get sleep. It's just hereditary. I've always had dark circles. The concealer that I really like to use for that natural, like dewy finish is the Milk Sunshine Under Eye Tint in Brighton. This works amazing. It gives you good coverage, leaves your skin looking like skin. It gives you a very natural kind of glowy finish. So I'm gonna just put that on right there and here. This is great for under the eyes and it is called an eye tint, but I also like to put it on other areas of my face because of the finish and the coverage. So I'm just gonna put it on. It doesn't look the neatest, but it works really well. 
I'm not trying to lift anything. I'm just trying to conceal and brighten. So I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and I'm just gonna go over the top and lightly pat that in because I want a lot of coverage. <laughs> I want the most coverage because my under eyes are kind of dark and deep set. So I really like to get the most coverage out of my product. So after that, I'll let it sit for a second and I'll pat very lightly on top. I wonder how many of my viewers have dark circles like me. Like how many of you guys have dealt with dark circles and deep set eyes? That is why I got into makeup in the first place because of that my journey of just figuring out how to cover the dark deep circles and I finally figured out how to do it. So I'm like super happy with the makeup techniques that I use because it really does help. For the eyes, I feel like I can't really get in there. So I'm gonna use a brush to blend this out. A brush is gonna really help blend out any foundation texture or concealer texture that's a little too heavy. So I'm getting a lot of heaviness in my inner corner. I'm just blending that out with a brush. Okay, so next I'm gonna set my face in place. I'm not gonna bake. I usually press my beauty sponge into my face, but when it's something more natural, I'll take, ooh, by the way, I gotta show you this setting powder is really good. This is from Haley's, it's called Retouch. It's a soft focus setting powder. It makes your skin look so smooth. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on this brush and then I'm just gonna press it into my under eyes and basically just my T-zone. And I like using a brush for this because it's a little bit more precise. I'm just gonna press it into that under eye area. And I do have oily lids, so I'm just gonna press a little bit in there, right in the center of my face. So for blush, I'm gonna take the RMS Beauty. This is lip to cheek blush. It's like a really pretty pink color. I love like a light pink. So I'm just gonna take that on my beauty sponge and because of the creamy texture, it's gonna make your skin look a little bit more dewy and glowy. And doing that on top of powder is perfectly fine for some products, not all of them. Some of them will lift, but this one works pretty well. And we just want a little hint of color on the cheek. It's very light too. It doesn't go on very pigmented, which is good because you could just kind of build it up. I'm also gonna press it into my lip so we can have like a little flush going. But what I really love to do for my lips, I'm gonna show you guys my lip technique. It's just gonna make your lips look fuller naturally. I take the Benefit Benetint. This is the rose tinted lip and cheek stain. I used to hate cheek stains to be honest, but now that I'm on the go a little bit more these days, I kind of like it. So what I do is just like, I pack it on to the center of my lip like this and I don't put it anywhere else. I'll just pack it onto the center and overline the top with it and I'll let it sit there for a second. The stain, don't be scared of that because it's not gonna stay there all day. It's gonna stick a little bit longer than what a gloss or a lipstick would, but it's gonna, it's gonna go away. And then I'll blend it out with my finger like that. Now it's kind of, it's there. It's like kind of stained. If you put it over your lip line, it's gonna make your lips look a little bit more plump. When with my lip liner, this is Edge to Edge from MAC. I'll just line here at the very bottom and at the top and on the corners because I want to lift the corners and I'll do a really light line over the rest of the lip. Kind of fill it in a little bit. It's going to give you like a natural flush of color. It looks a little bright right now, but what I do, I'll take my finger and I'll like press over it and kind of dab my finger over for a little bit. And then I'll take this lip oil from Kosas. It's unzipped, really pretty lip oil. And I will apply that on the center of my lip. This is a new mascara from YSL that just came into my PR. And I've really been liking it. It is a very voluminous, full type of effect mascara. This is what the wand looks like. So I'm just gonna go in to my lash this way, the opposite direction of where my lashes go. So it really gets into every like part of the lash. The lips might be a little bit too pink for you guys. Even for me, I'm like, are the lips natural? I mean, after a while it does rub off and it looks still looks really nice and plump. I have allergies and my nose is running. It keeps running and messing up my makeup. So I need to figure out a hack for that. But now that I have mascara on the top of the lashes, I'm gonna go in with a bottom mascara. This is from Essence, the Lash Princess, which I really love all over the lash, but I'm gonna take this volume one for the lower lashes because it is designed perfectly for that area. So I'm just gonna go over softly the lower lash to make them look fuller. 
And then I just let them sit for a little bit and then I'll go back and curl them so they're nice and high. After everything's done, I'll go back in with my ultra hydrating fine mist and this is just gonna give me skin. I like my face to literally be wet. I know it looks crazy, but I love the finish once everything is melted into the skin. Let me know if you try them out. Always tag me because I love to see your guys' recreations of my tips and tricks. So make sure to let me know and comment below if you've actually tried some of the tips and tricks and they've worked on your face and you continue to use them. I wanna know that what I'm putting out is actually being useful. So let me know in the comments. This is the final look. guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to thumbs it up it helps out this channel a lot and if you miss these two videos on the side they'll be waiting for you to watch please subscribe so we can be friends and we can hang out every single week and talk about makeup tips and tricks life being a mom Make sure to subscribe to my channel and be a part of the fam and before i let you go i always like to leave you with something that you can take with you throughout the week and this week's tip is to believe in yourself because nobody else is gonna believe in you unless you do i'm just putting it out there it sounds kind of rough but you believe in yourself first because you can do it i believe in you i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys